what is up everybody back here with another another taste test this time we got ground bison brought to you by walmart i was pretty it's like surprised to see this at walmart now i can't remember i just did my brother's right here is that what i we ate just the other day i cooked I gave you some was that a bison steak I can't remember if I just had bison or elk or something, but I have seen at the Harris Teeter there's elk. I eventually want to try that too. I can't remember. I just had some kind of steak. I forget what it was. It was some kind of different kind of meat, but uh, it's up here in the taste test. But I had this first time, even if it was bison, I'm not 100% sure if it was, but this first time trying ground bison, um, uh, could not find organic. They do have the organic ground beef, but not the organic bison. So uh, I'm going to throw this up in the pan here and cook it like I you know, normally just would cook the... Uh, you know, meat essentially says uh, market side butcher, so that's the Walmart brand. Never ever any added hormones, any antibiotics. Then it always says this down here federal regulations prohibit the use of hormones and antibiotics in bison. It says that for chicken, they all meat, but I don't think they do. That's like the whole point of getting organic, so you know that there's not any like hormones and stuff added. So, anyway. Uh, the back here, the one thing I do like to see ingredients is just straight up bison. There's no like uh, natural flavors or any garbage, anything, no preservatives, no anything else added. So that is a, a good uh, plus. Here on the back, it does say mark, uh, market side butcher bison is 100% grass fed and grass finished bison from bison that are never given any hormones, antibiotics, or steroids. Our free range bison are raised on pastures where they are able to roam free and graze to produce delicious tender bison. Now, I hope that's true because generally, like, eggs, I mean, chickens that do that, it just, it produces better quality end results, meats and eggs, etc., etc. So, uh, a little bit higher here. This is actually decently lean. Uh, so, for four ounces, you got 190 calories, 11 grams of fat, 4 grams of saturated fat, 50 milligrams cholesterol, 60 milligrams sodium, zero carbs, uh, 23 grams of protein, 10% iron, 9% potassium. So, compared to this 93.7 organic ground beef it's 20 more calories per serving three more grams of fat essentially same protein um where the ground beef have actually a lot more potassium or it actually doesn't actually i don't know let's see potassium 11 percent has two more percent potassium and uh seven has 15 more milligrams sodium this actually has 20 milligrams less of uh cholesterol but this, they didn't have any like percentages wise like on meat you can actually buy it percentage wise this was just straight up that's all it had was this one cut of leanness so gonna get this cooking and uh see you on the other side great post-workout meal here so initial open here like i've never actually smelled just regular ground beef or anything like that but in general like that actually smells really freaking good like i wouldn't expect like just the raw meat to smell that good that smells really really good so I'm gonna drop it in the pan and get it cooking. All right, I gotta say this is smelling a little bit extra. I mean, it's smelling absolutely amazing, but more of like a sweet type. I don't know, it's a different smell to it than this regular ground beef. But I absolutely love it. My brother didn't really like it. He just said it smells like raw meat, but like we were talking about, we basically have different taste palettes. Well, I do eat extremely clean, so my, our, what's delicious to me is different. You know, just, but everybody's like that as well, so. Oh man, it smells absolutely amazing. I'm super stoked to tear into this. All right, here we go. Three and a half ounces got it herbed up here all right everybody i see the little shot there i got it all herbed up so no this isn't gonna like throw it off oh you're eating herbs you can't taste it. no because i put these all these herbs on literally every meat i eat whether it's chicken just all the meat i eat okay so i can taste the difference underneath okay but what i do have on here just if y'all curious uh all of my organic rosemary parsley leaves, uh, basil leaves, black pepper, and some crushed red peppers. I normally put oregano on there as well, but I'm out of that. Um, I also have some pink Himalayan sea salt on there as well. Um, uh, just he extra health benefits, and the, the one with the, like, the most, I always put on all meat, 
uh, is the rosemary that protects from any carcinogens. You know, the black, the charm is a carcinogen, so it blocks any carcinogens from that, which is cancer causing. So we're gonna block all that. You know, it's anti-cancer, anti-tumor, you know, just anti-inflammatory, just a bunch of host of health benefits. So that's what I always recommend herbing, like uh, seasoning things with, is gonna be actual like herbs, you know what I'm saying? You actually get health benefits from instead of just like Mrs. Dash and you know, just straight sodium, you know what I'm saying? All right, here we go. Again, smell test, dude. It smells so freaking amazing. It smells so freaking amazing. All right, here we go. We're gonna go with this. Button. We're gonna go with this one first, dude. This is so tasty. Yeah, it basically tastes very similar to ground beef, but there's a lot more flavor to it. Like, and the flavor it almost sounds. It tastes like it's been soaked. Um, I don't know. Is that you're gonna soak all night? I don't know what you call that when you basically like a seasoning I've seen people do it with steaks you basically put the seasoning and the sauce and all that in the bag and like mush it into the steak and let it sit overnight in like the refrigerator marinate. that yeah marinate that that's what it that's what this tastes like it's been marinated in, in something but it hasn't been and it's absolutely freaking amazing I'm getting more of like a now this might I don't know how to explain it's like a I don't know, it's kind of a saucy type, I'm just getting more of like a bloody type taste to it, but it's absolutely like amazing, like not saying I like the taste of blood or anything, that's just what's coming to mind, like I don't, couldn't really necessarily tell you exactly what blood tastes like per se, you know, it's not obviously there's iron and stuff and there's a lot of iron in this, but it's just like a more saucy type, bloody, irony type, just more juicy, sweeter kind of, but tangy at the same time taste to it, just absolutely amazing essentially is what it boils all down to what you need to know so um would it be worth getting over you know ground beef yes because i think it's completely enough different to where it's going to be a different taste so if you want if you're craving more ground beef that day go with the beef and it's enough different taste where you would actually like i want to have this taste instead of you know the ground beef so anyway that's it for the video freaking awesome i'm stoked to uh, get into the elk I think that one was a lot higher fat. I'm not 100% sure, so that may be something I wait and do once I start upping my calories again on the reverse diet. Um, but maybe not. Again, I gotta look. It's been so long, I didn't, I wasn't even planning to buy it then, so I have to just look next time I go to the Harris Teeter. But that is it for the video. Absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Freaking absolutely enjoy this. Go on my body, you know, build these muscles back from that freaking workout. Um, that workout vlog video will be there. Um, if you want to see that workout routine I did tonight. So that's just the video. Comment anything down below you want to see me taste test in the future. Normally, if anything has ingredients in it, I will break down the ingredients as well. Letting you know, hey, these are healthy ingredients. These are unhealthy ingredients. Should you eat this? Why shouldn't you eat this? Etc. 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 So that's just the video. Stab, stay healthy. Go make y'all some gains. See y'all in the next one. Peace out.